Hey guys! So, first new video of 2018. Feels weird. I graduated high school like six years ago. I feel really old now. But, yeah, this video is going to be a little heavier than my usual stuff because it's about mental health. Mental health and university study, which is something I know intimately well. Kind of. I had a bad mental health day today and I have to get an assignment done by Sunday and I just sat there beating myself up about it and I, it's not helpful and then you look at all your other university friends who don't have mental health problems and you see that they're doing so much better than you and I don't mean so much better as in better grades or better assignments it's just Yes, they're stressed, but they don't grip their hair or cry hysterically. And it's really hard, because I have such high expectations of myself, and I know that's part of the problem. It's just, sometimes you feel quite isolated, especially when you have depression and anxiety. It can make you feel quite alone. Though I have very supportive friends from university, and my group assignment pals are very very supportive they've been so sweet so I'm very lucky in that regard and I have a plan with our disability services which is really really helpful I spent a week in hospital in my first semester ever of uni and I had to put in an extension for all my assignments and I got a week no questions asked which was fantastic it gave me all the time in the world I needed and it just doesn't, it can't, I can't express how much that is a help because even a day or an extra two can mean the difference between putting in half an assignment and actually completing it because sometimes that's all it is, it's a really bad day or if it's bad enough it's a really bad week and you're laid up for that week and you can't really do much of anything except for lay in bed and stare at your four walls but yeah it's hard but it's worth it I enjoy what I'm doing I love love my course but Enough of my rambling, I think I should probably part some advice. I'm only in my second year, but I have learnt just a bit from my very first year. My number one tip is ask for help. And I know it sounds scary, and I know that you think people aren't going to believe you, or they think you're going to be faking it, or just getting out of it, or being lazy, but there's going to be people who believe you. And there's going to be people that will help you and go out of their way to help you. Your lecturers want you to succeed. It's their job to teach you what you need to know. It's, your, it's their job to help you pass. All my lecturers have checked up on me, have sent me emails to make sure I'm okay. Just let them know. And if you can get disability services and get them to help you out through your course, it is a big help and it's a lot of weight off when you have bad days or bad weeks. It's a lot of help. Number two, find a support system. And I don't just mean family or the people that you live with. I'm talking about uni friends, work friends, staff members that you trust. Find people that you can talk to and people who will support you. It is, it takes a village to raise a family. In the sense, you, no one can do this alone. I could not do this alone. And I'm so lucky I didn't have to. But find somebody, find people that will help you and support you and encourage you and tell you that you can do this because you're going to need it. Number three, find a routine. I know that sounds really weird and I know with mental health days can be really unpredictable but I found having a bit of a routine in the morning just before I leave helps especially with my anxiety it is a big help I get up 
I go through my routine, I have my hot chocolate, my muffin, I have my shower and then I sit down and I put my makeup on, do my hair, dress in my pretty clothes, I feel nice about myself and I feel a lot more calmer and confident before I leave the door. And that just sets the tone for the whole day. It can make a crappy day into a better day. So, yeah. And number four, I don't know if that was number, th this is number four or number five, but sorry about that. Um, know your limits. Know when you need a break. Know when you need to step back from an assignment, step back from a day of classes, step back from all your assessments, your readings, everything like that. Know when to take a break. And I, it doesn't have to be a day, it doesn't have to be a week, it can be an hour or two. It's just that little break that you can sit and calm yourself down and do something that makes you happy. Whether it's a hobby, whether it's YouTube, whether it's running or exercising, something. Something that makes you happy. Take a break and do that. Because it will do make all the difference. It will break it up and it will make things so much easier. But... Those are all the tips from me. If you have any tips that I didn't mention, list them down below. People who are watching this might need it. I definitely need it. <laughs> and just to support each other in the comments. If you have any issues with uni too, or if you struggle with mental health, you know, just chat about it. Chat with each other. I'll chat with you too, just down there. So that's it from me this week, and I'll talk to you guys later. I can't find the off button. I can't find the off button. <laughs> oh, I am such a dickhead.